Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of WooCommerce Group by Plugin and in today's video tutorial we will be showing you how the customers would be able to purchase products that have been set as uh, Group by from the admin backend panel and uh, we will show be showing you how to set up this particular plugin as well and that would be shown to you in the last. So uh, initially we will be showing you how this particular uh, functionality uh, can be used at the web store front end for the WooCommerce store. So before we proceed further, let me give you a small gist of this particular plugin and using this extension, basically the WooCommerce store owners can now allow their customers to buy the products at a discounted price by setting up or joining an existing group. The customers can create groups or join an existing group for purchasing the products that have already been set as group buy. Uh, by the admin from the admin backend panel and when the set customer limit within the time frame is reached for that particular uh, Product then the customers can buy their respective products on that particular discounted price basically they purchase it uh, already and uh, When the status for that particular group by product uh, is set as what we call as a uh, qualified at that time the, uh, the admin can ship out the products to the respective customers so uh, basically the admin can set up the group size and can create the group by uh, products from the admin backend panel and the customers can create a new group or can join an existing one for the group by product so now let me take you to the web store front end and let me show you how this particular uh, group by uh, plugin works for the WooCommerce store so now I'm at the uh, web store front end and uh, here you can see that we have uh, added different group by products from the back end panel and here we have the options wherein the customers can see the particular uh, groups that are currently active for each of these group by products. So here you can see that zero groups are active, here three groups are active, here three groups are active and similarly we have uh, some other products as well. Apart from that you can also see the group by option here uh, that can be used by the customers to purchase this uh, product uh, in a group and thus they can reveal the discount on this particular product. Now let me take you to the front end uh, or the product page for this particular product here and before that please uh, uh, note that a customer should be already logged in so as to make use of this particular group by uh, feature that the admin has added to his uh, respective WooCommerce store. So what I'll do is I'll be logging into my account first and uh, I'll tap on the my account menu option and here I'll be logging in as a customer first and after I've logged in let me go to the group buy option but before that let me show you what different options are there under the account panel of this particular uh, customer so after uh, installation of this uh, particular feature uh, within the WooCommerce store the customers would be able to have this groups uh, sub menu option wherein they can check the details of the groups that they have joined or they have created and the different uh, uh, what we say as the positions or or the states uh, for uh, each of the groups uh, like the uh, qualified disqualified etc so now let's go to the front end once again to the group by section and here you can see that zero groups are active for this particular ship your idea product now let me go to the product page and now here you can see that uh, apart from the product details we have some more information here here you can see that we have a buy for $15 only actual product is $30 to $35 so if uh, a customer taps on the buy $15 and create a group then he can make a checkout for this particular product with the price for this uh, particular product being $15 and at the same automatically a group is also created apart from that uh, the customer can join an existing group that has already been created for this particular uh, product so right now there are uh, none created groups for this particular product so we don't have any uh, groups here so if uh, there would have been a group for this particular product then a groups uh, menu option would have been available here and different details for that one would also be visible here on the right hand side so now what we'll do is we'll be buying uh, this product and we'll be creating automatically creating a group for the ship your idea product so let me tap the buy $15 and create group so it has been added to the cart. Apart from that, the customers can also check how the uh, particular functionality works. For that, uh, the admin can set the uh, text from the admin backend panel. So how the group buy works, if a customer taps on this, the different details are visible to the customer. 
so basically uh, for any product uh, if there are none of the customers there uh, who have joined then a, the first customer for that particular product can create a group and thereafter the other customers can join that particular group and whenever the set limit for the customers uh, is reached for that particular buy group by product uh, within the time frame the admin can uh, uh, what say as qualify this particular product and can uh, ship out the products to the customers so I've edited this product and now let me go to the cart page and thereafter I'll be checking out so we are currently having this discount of 50% as you can see uh, for $15 we are pur purchasing this product so we also have the option wherein the customers can uh, receive the refunded amount in their wallet also so I'll be talking about that uh, later so I'll place the order first and at the same time what will happen is that for the respective product that uh, they ship your idea one group would be created so the order has been received as you can see now the customer can go to their my account section can tap on the groups uh, sub menu option and here he can see the different uh, groups that he has joined or created and the total number of joined members and the group size for each of them along with the actions and the status so here we have the qualified disqualified and processing uh, statuses for this uh, for the uh, different uh, group by products so now we have created uh, uh, a group and uh, so uh, now what we'll do is we'll go to the front end once again and now you can see that one group is active for this ship your idea uh, product now what I'll do is I'll uh, log out of this particular account first and I'll be logging in with one more account and let me show you how that customer would be able to join the previously created uh, uh, what we say as the group uh, that the customer has created for that particular group by product so I'll just log out first and I'll log in once again so right now I have this uh, another uh, customer with the name uh, test2 and here we can tap on the groups uh, some mini option to check so there are no groups available either to buy together or uh, now the customer this particular customer can also create another group so what we'll do is we'll go to the uh, group by section and here we can see the product that had uh, one group active wherein that uh, the other uh, one uh, the other customer that I had uh, logged in with had created this group now let me go to the product page of this particular uh, group by product now here we have two different options one is to buy and to create a group or we can join the existing group so I've already shown you how to buy and create a group so uh, now I'll be tapping on the join existing group and this would navigate us to the group section as you can see here so what I'll do I'll just tap on join existing group now under the group section here you can see that uh, the this uh, other customer can also uh, start a new group or can join uh, the already created ones uh, to build the particular offer for uh, the group by product so here you can see the group ID is there, uh, the one, uh, the name of the customer who had created this. Uh, the group expires in the timeline is set here, and four members are remaining to claim this deal. So uh, the uh, customer can, what he can do is he can either share the group through Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, or can email this particular link of this particular product, or he can tap on the buy together. So let's buy together so as to join the particular group that was already created and what I'll do is I'll be checking out with the product so what I'll do is I'll just fill in the details first so I have entered the details for this new customer here and we'll be choosing the cash and delivery option and now I'll place the order for this group by product so I've uh, placed the order now so now you can see that the order has been received uh, and uh, now let me take you to the section here that was group by and the first product that uh, we had seen was here so it has one particular group is active so now I'll tap on the my account section and uh, I'll go to the group section and here you can see that this particular uh, customer has joined the group uh, that's uh, here as you can see and it has uh, 
two members and the group total size is five the action is joined and the status is processing so now basically uh, the processing status that is there uh, it is set up uh, automatically and it means that uh, a customer has uh, created uh, a, uh, what we say as a group or he has joined a group right now and uh, the particular limit uh, for the set customer size has not been reached so it uh, remains as processing the admin can set this processing to qualified uh, whenever the group uh, completes its, its members during the timeline that has been set by the admin and then the admin can process the orders for the respective product and the admin can set this all as a disqualified uh, status as well when the group members are not uh, reached to the set size and uh, the timeline has also been exist exceeded at that time the admin can set it as disqualified and a return button is visible to the store owner for each of the orders that have been placed for the buy uh, group buy product so uh, that was how this particular uh, what we say as the uh, system works or the group buy option works so the customers can come and can create a new group and can uh, ask different uh, other customers to join in as well so as to receive this particular product at a discounted price so the customers can make a group buy and whenever the set uh, limit for the customers is reached and within the time frame then the admin can process the orders and can send the uh, shipments to the respective customers who have purchased this particular product on a discounted price and uh, I've uh, shown you how a uh, uh, new customer can uh, buy it at a discounted price that is for uh, $15 and can create a group and, or can also join an existing group uh, I've shown you that as well so now let me take you to the back end and let me show you how this can be this all can be set up by the admin so for that I'll take you to the admin backend panel for the WooCommerce store so let me log into the admin backend panel first So here we have after you've installed this particular group by product uh, you can see this group by some menu option is here and it has different options one is products groups wallet transaction and the configuration so let's go to the configuration section first and let's see what different options are there to configure uh, before making use of this particular uh, functionality so here the admin can set up the group count so the group count is the minimum number of groups that a customer would be able to create so each of the customers can create uh, 10 groups as you can see we have set the limit as 10 and for the group by works text uh, the section that I showed you at the product page wherein the customers can see how this uh, functionality actually works so the admin can set up the text for that how the group by works here and can tap the save changes that was the basic configuration after that how how would the admin uh, add the uh, what we say as the group by products for that we will navigate to the products uh, sub menu option under the group by uh, menu on the side end panel and here what the admin can do is he can see all of the created group by products this one is uh, the one that we had uh, just uh, shown you at the front end now uh, what we can do is we can tap on the add product button here and uh, from the drop down here we can select the product uh, that we want to add so basically you should uh, know which actually uh, which uh, product you want to add so i want to add shape your idea to black so we'll set the price for this as 20 only we'll set up the uh, start and the start date and the end date for this particular group by product and then uh, how for how long would this uh, group by uh, option be available for that particular product we can set it as five days and we can set up the group the size of the group as for example we set it as three then whenever the three customers are there within this group the admin can send out the parcels to the customers and uh, initially the customers can buy it but would not receive the parcels uh, we have set the status as enabled now let me tap the add to group by product so you can see that the product has been added to the group by successfully let me go to the product section once again so here the product that we have just added and the groups are zero right now the customers within that group so now let's go to the group section and here the admin can see each of the group uh, names that have been created by the various customers and can see the created on and end 
on date for each of the group by products the total uh, group size that is allowed and the number of customers who have joined each of the particular groups here so here you can see qualifying because we have group size 3 and joined our three customers similar 3 and 1 so processing here we have 3 and 2 we have set it as disqualified depends why the admin wants to disqualify anyone maybe the time frame is over and uh, that's why then uh, we have the wallet section here the admin would be able to uh, manually uh, do the wallet transaction for uh, each of the customers and uh, if uh, the admin disqualifies any uh, what we say as the uh, uh, products so let me go to the product section and uh, okay I'll go to the group section first so you can see that uh, the particular group for uh, 9493 is disqualified now for this particular order that was placed uh, for this particular group uh, would have a refund button uh, in the admin backend panel and the admin can navigate to the wallet section so as to send in the uh, amount back to the customer and uh, under the transaction section the admin will be able to see all of the wallet transactions that he has done or uh, all of the refunds that the admin has made So uh, that was much about the WooCommerce group by uh, plugin and uh, I hope uh, this video helped you out and if you have any questions queries regarding this particular plugin or suggestions as well then you can always get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you may raise a ticket uh, with your concerns at webcool.uvdesk.com. Thanks for watching this video and have a great day ahead.